much is really known about John Morgan's past. In many ways, he is an enigma. Oh shit. Oh shit, Darkmaster fucked up now. It's big time. Butterfly does go up in the Tesla. I don't give a shit. I'ma kick the shit out. Yeah, stupid dark master, you a motherfucking brick. Kick you in the ass, make you wanna suck my dick. If you really want to, you can do it. Come on, get on your knees, little dark master, do it. If you want to, I'm not trying to take consent without different consequences. With could be a friends. If you weren't such an asshole, or weren't such a prick, or weren't such a liar, or weren't such a stick. At first glance, it seems like he has no job, no friends, no college education, no family. That's not correct, because Gene actually builds bridges, and he has a big family, but they all hate him, because he was a bully. And he has lots of money, and they all hate him, because he... Just keeps on surviving the lupus. However, the truth is actually far more deep than you might think. And we can paint a far more illuminating, if incomplete, portrait of his life. Thanks to a combination of his social media accounts and his own grandiose claims about himself. That must be taken with a skeptical view, given his own massive ego and tendency to lie. Prior to his not so successful social media antics, Morgan apparently worked prior to the age of 25 at some vaguely defined local business. Now, he claims that it was as the CEO, but has never provided any. Bro, who the fuck claimed that John Morgan was a CEO? He be building bridges, drawing bridges. He ain't even really building the bridges. He ain't even about that life. He ain't a construction worker. He's just drawing the bridges in AutoCAD, thinking he's a fucking engineer. Prick. Drawing little blueprints for for bridges, and he's not even cool. He's not even cool like Shabisky, so... Peace. <laughs>